are headed to plant pumpkins. Got the got the planters following the planter. Right, Jimbo? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're just heading right down to our neighbors plant pumpkins behind their house. So we're in the field. The boys are gonna drop the pumpkin seed pumpkin. into the seed tube. Show me where, Jake. Right down there. Yeah. The planter, the meters for the corn seed, uh, they won't take the pumpkin seed, so the kids are just gonna ride along and drop them in the tubes by hand. So, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's roll. Welcome back to our new YouTube channel. Is the chain turning or no? no. Good. Yeah. How you have it, Bob? This is what we're fighting into, this standing right. It is tall. Look at that. Like I said, kids are just dropping the seeds in. We're out tedding some hay that we're going to bale tomorrow, and Jack's tedding the hay, so we're going to leave soon. There's a baby fawn in the field. We're going to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to make sure we stop so we don't hit that. No, just stop. There it goes. Check. So Jack's tedding his hay. Like I said, we're going to bale it tomorrow. Hey, Jack. Now that we have our crops planted and all the crops are sprayed, uh, now we're making hay for feed for our cows. Um, so we have to wait for a good stretch of weather, three or four days at least. And because uh, you, you have to take this from a standing crop, mow it, and let the hay cure so the moisture leaves the, the stems and, um, and let the hay just dry. Uh, so we have, we grow alfalfa, and then uh, in Timothy, that's that's mainly what we seeded in here. Then you end up with some native grasses coming in every year, more and more. So this is this has been mowed. We mowed this two days ago. That's this windrow right here. This is from the hay mower. He takes it and puts it in a swath. And now what Jack's doing is tightening it out. So he's just taking these swaths and spreading it out, kicks it out, just getting airflow. The the hay that's on the bottom down in here, a little bit damp. Um, so that's just spreading it out and uh, that'll, that'll let it all get dry. And then after that, tomorrow we'll rake it back up into windrows and we'll bale it with a small square baler. Most times we would mow the hay and then the next day tied it out. And uh, I wanted to get it down, but I had to work at the firehouse yesterday. So didn't have a chance to get this tied it out. But, uh, and that's what it's called, a hay tighter. Uh, that, that just spreads the hay out. And then, like I said, the, uh, the hay rake, that'll put it back up into rows. Seems kind of counterproductive, but that's what you have to do to get it dry. There's Jack raking with Uncle Ronnie. Jimmy and 
tire failing. Got a lot of hay down. It's going to be a long day, but things are going good. for today when this wagon is full and do uh, this one and one more wagon it'll be like a 1200 bale day that's pretty good it's only because we were able to get started early we don't exactly push it with our old equipment so this is a pretty good day for us to be able to do this much Uncle Ronnie Balin Oh, 